and welcome back to Final Fantasy X2 100% walkthrough guide. Last episode we just came here to the Meehan High Roads to um, relive Yuna's memories, which gave us 8%. Now we need to go to the Mushroom Rock Roads. Um, I would definitely encourage you to grind. I got up to level 10. You can grind in the Meehan High Roads, actually. That's probably your best bet. So what we're gonna go is go to Buddy and we're gonna go to the Mushroom Rock Roads. Now we have a lot to do there, here and this will bring us up to 13%. Mushroom Rock Fiends heading for the Youth League headquarters. They're busy planning some kind of operation and the fiends are multiplying like crazy. All right, so this is where we gotta go. And the first thing we gotta do is I'll tell you after we have our little cutscene. If there is one. Nope, there's not one. Okay. So what we need to do first is speak with Yibel and the other Youth League members. So that'll be up here. So just come up here and you'll see. Ah! It's those creeps again! Hm, maybe there's a sphere here. It's our turn to do the following. That's the spirit girls. All right, so we do want to come up here, and this is who we'll be, we'll be talking to. Good to see you again, Lady Yuna. You haven't forgotten me, have you? Say, so you're Yibel of the Youth League. Yibel, isn't it? You're in the Youth League. Ha! <laughs> you really do remember me. I am truly honored, Lady Yuna. Since that day we first spoke, the Youth League has been conducting a spear hunt of its own. We, the Youth League! Hmm... <clears throat> Clasco, Poor take it Clasco. from here. We, the Youth League, to better our understanding of Spira's past, vow to remain vigilant in our search <clears throat> for ruins and spheres. Oh, that's enough! Those two guys are getting away! Did LeBlanc's men pass through here? Yes, they said they're here to take care of our fiend problem. My butt. You see, the Youth League is in preparation for an important operation, leaving our patrols shorthanded. As a result, the road to headquarters has been overrun with fiends. Be warned, unless you can defeat the fiends on the road, you will not be able to pass. So, are you ready to run the gauntlet? Sure, we're game. Understood. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Fight your way through them and proceed to headquarters. That's it. Good luck. Clasco? Uh, Clasco, show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This way, please. Poor Clasco. Yeah, let's hunt some fiend. Alright, so we need to uh, speak to the other Youth League me members and Yibel. Reach the lift near headquarters and your mission will be complete. Be careful, Lady Yuna. So talk to all these people, um, then we'll go talk to Clasco really quick. Hmm. You seem down. Well, a lot has happened since you brought us the calm. I ended up following Captain Lucille. When she joined the Youth League, so did I. But I'm still stuck playing tour guide. Ugh. You know, all I want is to ride on a chocobo faster than the wind. Poor guy. You know, all I know, I I've said that like four times now. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go and enter the Mushroom Rock Roads, which will activate a mission. And we'll see what that mission has to say to us. Youth League is a bit shorthanded. Help them out by clearing out the fiends along Mushroom Rock Road. Fiends will attack more often under cover of fog. Proceed with caution. We have to reach the lift heading to the headquarters. So it's pretty self-explanatory going through this road. It's a straight face. So I'm actually just going to um, speed up through this place. So I guess I will see you guys at the end.
All right, so we have reached the lift. We want to go up the lift, and then we have instructions to do after that. By the way, this would be a good place to use a black magician because of all the elemental creatures here. All right, so we want to go forward. Oh, wow. Lady Yuna. It's me, Elma. It's been so long. Wow, you've really changed. How are you? Never better. Now that I'm in the Youth League, I've always got something to do. Hey, you made it past all the fiends. Nice work. Go on, step aside. Right, right away, away, Captain. Captain. <sighs> wow, look at you. <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> All right, so there we have it, our mission complete. We got a glass buckle for it and the garment grid Heart of Flame, which I'm assuming allows you to use fire, yep. So I'm not gonna actually use that one. But if we come over here, we can get a item. Maybe if I don't disappear first, okay. Um, so after we get this item, we don't want to go up to the next area. Actually, let's see, is this silver glass? Guard against the dark. We actually want to go back through the Mushroom Rock Road, so you're gonna have to walk all the way back through. Um, use a potion or something if you need. Oh, just kidding, I guess they healed you through the cutscene. So we need to go back to where Yaibul and Classical were. And Classical will be closer to the save point, and we have to go speak to him again. So, and we want him to come aboard the um, Celsius. So, we'll skip through this, and I will meet you guys back at the... Alright, and so we are back. Um, let's go down the lift, and we'll go find Clasco. We'll just run into a battle, though. Watch it just happen. It's just gonna happen. Oh, thank goodness it didn't happen. Alright, so if I am correct, yes, we do need to speak with Clasco. And he'll be up a little further than he was before. Um, I tried to play this a while ago on my other channel, and I actually completely missed him, which was really sad. But he's right here, so take a talk with him. That's it. Every time I try something new, I screw it up. I just don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know where I belong. I've spent my whole life drifting from one failure to the next. But I can't keep doing this forever. I know that there's a place for everyone in this world, even someone as sad and pathetic as me. Lady Yuna, I want to find my place. Please, allow me to ride on your airship. All right, you want to say, the more the merrier. Oh, thank you so much. I'll find my true calling, you'll see. All right, you'll love this next part. Um, go touch the save point just so we can heal our health. And we'll have to run back through the Mushroom Rock Roads. And this time we need to go into the Youth League Headquarters. So that's what we'll be doing. I will be skipping through the battles again. And I will see you once we get to back to the other side of the Mushroom Rock Roads. Alright, and we are finally back over here. Man, I'm into 35 minutes of recording though. The video is probably only like 10, 15 minutes long right now. But since we are finally back, um, we need to go into the Youth League this time. So you're gonna pass right up into that elevator looking majigger. Yes, yes, yes. So let's go up. Alright, we still have quite a bit to do on this episode, actually, just in the Mushroom Rock Road, so let's hope this goes as smoothly as I'm hoping. Alright, so we are almost here. This is Youth League Headquarters. The Youth League was formed a year ago by people who opposed New Yevon. Its members claim that in the hands of New Yevon, Spira would only repeat its past mistakes. Their leader is a former crusader named Nuge, 
Apparently, he earned quite a reputation among the Crusaders. All right, we are here. Look, there's even a save spot. But I'm not gonna save. Actually, maybe I should. At least save one down, just in case. I'm gonna have so many saves on my memory card, it's not even funny. Alright, 10%, we still have three to go, but quite a bit to do. So we're gonna walk right into this area, and Lucille is the one who's at the entrance of the Youth League headquarters, and we want to talk to her. It's been too long, Lady Yuna. I am Lucille, commander of the Youth League forces. It's good to see you. Hiya! I am glad to find you well. As you can see, I have joined the Youth League to aid in the fight for a new Spira. I consider it my duty. Maven Nuge, our leader, has been hoping for an audience with my lady for some time. Unfortunately, he is planning a mission of great import and will be occupied well into the night. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask that you return another day. Oh, it's no trouble. My apologies. The Youth League's looking for spheres, too, right? Yes, knowledge of the past is the key to the future, so says the Maven. It is with these words sure. in mind that we seek the spheres of yore. The mission we are planning also revolves around a sphere, but... I am sorry, I had best say no more. It is not a matter to be discussed openly. No, I suppose not. My apologies. Okay, we're gonna talk to her one more time. There's a lot of weirdos around here. The Youth League is a motley bunch. Some members certainly have, uh, questionable pasts. Just the other day, a very valuable sphere was stolen almost as soon as we discovered it. The Thief League? <laughs> no. No, few here would go that far. Most of us are very devoted. We work hard with Maven Nuge towards our goal of building a new sphere out. But the Maven insists that none be turned away, and so the occasional bad seed does slip through. Unfortunately. But I can think of nothing more heartening than were the Lady Yuna to join our cause. That would do the League much good. Only if you guys are doing it for the right um, crap. Alright, so... So we had to talk to her twice, so we did that. Now we need to go over to this old man named Mikan, and we have to talk to him without skipping Yuna, I believe or anything at all don't calls for a celebration. um yeah don't like push anything we want to say we want to hear a story actually i don't know if we have to speak with mike in without skipping or interrupting shake his hand when he's done So we want to do These by all means. Two years have been true all right, now true. don't push anything when you do it until it gives you the option to shake his hand. And heaven's terrible deception exposed for all to see. It is safe to say Spira was in a state of upheaval. But it is precisely times such as these that often inspire the greatest good. For you see, out of the chaos arose a desire to forge Spira anew. And from this noble desire was born a search for truth, championed by people called the Seekers. The Seekers sought out and attempted to set right Spira's history, long concealed and warped by the temples. They looked for lessons in that history, lessons to lead Spira into a new age. <sighs> The Seekers scoured Spira for ancient spheres hidden in nooks and crannies over the ages. They studied the images recorded in those spheres, for they hoped to find within clues to the true nature of Spira's past. Over time, the search for spheres grew quite popular. Some even pursued it as a profession. They, of course, are the Sphere Hunters. The good, the bad, and the ugly. To be sure, the majority are interested only in the excitement and adventure of it all. But it is doubtful they comprehend the gravity of their search for truth. Very doubtful. Um, doubtful? 
doubtful indeed. <laughs> Where was I? The founder of the Seekers was a man by the name of Tremor. Before the fall of Sin, Tremor had been a priest in the orders of Yevon. With the Seekers, he had the perfect means of revitalizing Spira. Or so one would have thought. But then, just one short year ago, Tremor founded yet another organization, the New Yevon Party. It was all quite sudden. He took the many spheres collected by the Seekers and hoarded them all to himself. Naturally, this angered those who had hoped to use the spheres as a key to unlock Spira's past. What awoke in Tremor's heart that drove him to do this, none can say, say Tremor himself. I should very much like to ask him. But sadly, he has vanished. New Yevon would not release its fears, yet surprisingly, a great number of people rallied to its cause. Their motto was, one thing at a time. It worked to great effect. It played on people's fears of the rapid changes sweeping over Spira. It gave them something to cling to. But there were others who still harbored ill will toward the name of Yevon. And the man who united them? It was none other than Nuge, the maven, that is, leader of the Youth League. Nuge was a member of the Crusaders. He is a powerful man, once renowned for his fearlessness in battle. His interest in history led him to devote himself to the Seeker's cause. With them, he worked to collect spheres, but in the end, New Yevon would share them with no one. Repulsed by what New Yevon had done, Nuge gathered like-minded people and formed the Youth League. Drawing its support, mainly from Spira's younger generation, League soon matched New Yevon in size. As the organization grew, so did the responsibilities of its leader. I came here hoping to speak with Maven Nuge, but he is busy in meetings and I was turned away at the door. Hmm. Pity. Looking at all the young people gathered here to take part in the League's endeavors, I must say, I'm quite envious. So much energy, so much time. While I, on the other hand, have grown weary with the passing of many years. I travel spare, gathering knowledge, only to have it slip my mind a moment later. Just between you and me, I don't even remember how old I am. Oh, might I ask you one small favor? What is it? I'd like to shake your hand. If it's not too much trouble. To touch just once the hand that defeated sin and saved all spirit. All right, you want to see, of course. Oh, thank you. Now this old scholar can go in peace. Don't say that. Your hand. Is something wrong? No, no, it is nothing. Lady Yuna, you have my thanks. All right, so Perhaps we did all that we like needed to, to do. No, you don't want to listen to that again. <laughs> Those kids are hitting us, what the hell? Anyway, so we actually, I'm gonna go save it one more time. Um, we shouldn't be at 13% yet because we have uh, about three more things to do. Well, let's see where we're at. All right, 12%, so these, the rest of these things should do what we need to. Okay guys, we are here we are. Um, 
We're gonna go to the next part as this kid slaps the heck out of us. But I wanted to recap on what we did. We are almost at 13% and this Mushroom Rock Roads will give us 4.6%. We have to start out by speaking to Yaiball and the other Youth League members. Next, we speak to let class go at the entrance. Third, we enter the Mushroom Rock Roads and begin our Foggy Fiend Frenzy mission. Then we get a mission complete by navigating through Mushroom Rock Roads to the lift area. You go back through the Mushroom Rock Roads and speak to Clasco at the entrance and allow him to come aboard the Celsius. And then you have to go all the way back through the Mushroom Rock Roads once again um, to uh, speak with uh, Lucille twice and she'll let you know what's going on. Then you need to speak with Mike and without skipping or interrupting him. That means you don't push any buttons at all. And then you shake his hand when he's done. And we did all of that. So our next mission is we need to go to the Den of Woe. And we need to encounter Ormi's logo and then speak with Marota. So we're going to go back and do that. I'm going to skip half going halfway through this place because it is, it is a t tedious task to walk all the way through there. Um, that's like five minutes of recording that we don't need to watch. So, I will meet you guys once we get to the Den of Woe. At least the entrance, and then I'll show you guys where that's at. Okay, here we are. We have reached the entrance of the Den of Woe. So, we're going to go through here. What we have to do is we're going to encounter Ormies and Logo. And after that, we'll speak with Marauder, who's at the end. This part shouldn't take too long, besides the freaking battles. <laughs> that I can't really skip. As you notice, I'm using two warriors and then a black magician. I wanted at least to get one black magician. Crap, I just fired him. That's gonna give him health. But um, I want to get at least a little bit of each class through each of my characters. Because later on, you'll have to use a variety of them, depending on what you're going to be battling. So, if you like using the warrior, then so be it. But, you're best off training a little bit of everything. Over here in this left corner, we have a treasure chest. So, I'm actually going to change my... Yuna, or Riku, really quick, back to a... A warrior, because... Since we're recording for real now, I don't want the battles to take too long. Alright, there's a turbo either, and then we want to... If you look at the map, it shows you where you need to go. That's a dead end, but I'm sure there's probably a... A treasure chest over there. This will only take two rounds. So it's a lot quicker with the warriors, because they're just straight-up attackers, and they have a really nice um, health bar. They're not going to die too quick, and they're bar loads up quick enough that we can kill them very quickly. They're my favorite. Besides the um, another one that we get later on, I don't really want to spoil it, but... I think that these elementals, they have about a hundred health. So if you can at least take a hundred within three hits, you should be good. See, Riku and Pain are still are at level 14 and Yuna is still at level 13, but that's alright. She'll get up there. Alright, so there isn't anything at the end of this place, so let's go through here. And this part is hilarious, because you try to go through and you just can't. It's a lost cause, let me play. Because the, the camera switches right as you get through, and then you're walking forward, you end up going backwards. Don't oversoul, you darn coyote. We killed him anyway. That wasn't much fun. Oversoul is where you encounter a monster so many times that it ends up... Oh, another chest. Phoenix down. That ends up being more powerful. Sorry, can I put that up? Because we run into so many of these coyotes. So. Alright, Yuna learned Delay Attack. It's an attack where it delays their next move, which is really nice. Especially against, like, magical creatures. Oh, 
Okay, and unit is level 14. Awesome. Let's see what's in this chest. We got a high potion. We're actually coming on a save point, so that's nice. Alright, let's go through- Or not, because these monsters hate me! An oversoul red element- what is this? Really? What are you asking from me, game? I'm trying to do this as fast as I can, and you want to slow me down? <sighs> there we go, and we learned Sentinel with Miss Riku. Wow, we got a lot from the eye drop, potion, and bomb core. Alright, let's go right through here and we'll get our next cutscene. This is where we need to encounter Ormi's logo and speak with Marota. This one ain't no good! Nor this one. What are you doing? <sighs> let's get out of here. We must inform the boss. Hey, they dropped something. Finders keepers. And we got Crimson Sphere 9. Boom, we have one Crimson Report. We need, or we need all the Crimson Spears to open this. Hey, long time no see. Remember me? Of course I do. Glad to hear it. How have you been? I joined up with the Youth League, and that's been keeping me pretty busy. Oh, I'm a Sphere Hunter now. Ah, that sounds great. Trying out a new way of life. Actually, Pase's a Sphere Hunter now, too. He's the leader of the Kindergartians. Be nice to him if you see him. How's Isaru? The Youth League discovered this place, you know. It's called the Den of Woe. It was sealed around the time of Operation Meehan. And Isaru? But, uh, the seal can supposedly be broken with the right combination of spheres. Um... I'm afraid this place is off-limits until we can conduct a more thorough investigation. So, I'll, um, have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. Okay, let's talk to him one more time. This place is off-limits. Please leave. He is so pushy. Alright, so we encountered Ormi's logos and spec with Marotta. Now we need to go on board the Celsius and watch Treasure Sphere Crimson Report 1, which is the one we just picked up. So let's go do that. Board airship, we're all done here. Everything. All right, so let's do treasure spheres. Watch Crimson Report number one. Yes. What a mess. We're done there. We have one more thing to do and we can finally end this part. Whew. We need to speak to Clasco and he is in the cabin. So let's go do that and hope that we are done for the day. 
I have a lot of editing to look forward to. <laughs> Yay. All right, class go. Come to see how you're doing if you figured out what you want to do in life. Where is he? I'm missing him. Where is he? Class there you are, Glasgow. Oh. 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 I want the room to stop shaking. Oh. That's it. That's all we had to do. Just just talk to him, speak to Glasgow in the cabin. Okay, I guess it looks like we're done. Let's go save our game. We should be at thirteen percent. So we'll run back. We'll go to the deck. Nope, we'll go to the bridge. There it is. Save our beautiful game and then hope that this is over and we got 13%. Save. Memory card one. Come on. Yeah, 13% guys. We are there. We are going. This is episode what like seven or five so next episode we'll be going to the josie temple and it'll be a lot simpler let me tell you it'll be a lot of shorter episodes so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode um i hope to see you next time in josie temple make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time